I haven't always believed in angels. When I was growing up, I believed as my parents believed. They were scientists, both my mother and father were chemists, and they said, if you cannot prove it scientifically, it doesn't exist. That's what I thought too. Until I was 17, I was in the hospital, I had some very serious injuries, and one night when I was in so much pain, I closed my eyes and I just thought, I wish someone would come in and help me. I heard the door open and I heard someone come and they slipped their hand into my hand and the instant that hand went into my hand all the pain seemed to subside. I was so grateful and I opened my eyes but there wasn't anyone there and I looked down at my hand and there was there was nothing that I could see but I could feel the hand. I could feel the fingers and I fell deeply asleep. Every night after that, a hand would slip into my hand and I would fall asleep. I know now those were angels. And I know now that angels are all around us. They are only a thought away. And literally, some things are true even if you don't believe in them. And, you know, most people think, oh, angels, they're up in heaven someplace. But literally, in your kitchen, you can call upon a kitchen angel. And when you do, that angelic presence can help you infuse life force energy into every dish you prepare. Your angel can also help you with recipes and your intuition in, in collecting just the right ingredients for every dish you prepare. In just a little bit, you're going to hear about my daughter and an experience she had with her kitchen angel. As a child, I used to see angels and fairies, and I remember one time specifically, I actually saw an angel in the park near me eating, of all things, because food is my passion, so I think it was interesting I saw one eating. But as I grew older throughout my adolescence, I wanted to be normal, and I wanted to be cool, and I wanted to fit in, and so I lost my ability to see angels and fairies. But I've always felt that when I was cooking, my... Um, I was divinely guided in some way. Sometimes I would accomplish something in the kitchen and think, how the heck did I do that? And I thought there had to be some greater help. So a number of years ago, I started talking about having a kitchen angel because I really felt like there was an angel that was, that was guiding me as I diced, sliced, and stirred my way to creating feasts for, um, for friends and family and, and guests at our ranch. And... Um, but there was part of me that was still a little skeptical, like, really? Maybe it's just me. <laughs> and, um, but recently I had an experience that made me really understand how helpful and powerful the, the aid of a kitchen angel can be. I was cooking for about a group of 25 people, and I'd been way too ambitious in my uh, meal plan. And I planned about five different dishes, and I planned to do it in two hours for, once I can remember, 25 people. And there was about half an hour left, and I pride myself on getting dinner out on the table exactly on time. And I was in the middle of five different dishes, none of them complete, and I was starting to panic a little bit. And I thought, okay, I'm going to consciously invoke the my kitchen angel and ask him to come join me in the kitchen and help so I asked for his help and I said I'm just be so grateful for whatever guidance you can give me and the most remarkable thing happened the clock did not move I kept looking up at the clock and it stayed exactly where it was and I continued to uh, season and dice and slice and uh, stir my way to nearing a completed meal and then the clock started to slowly move again with about 10 minutes left I still wasn't finished, but I was I was getting there and um, And a number of the women in the group that I was cooking for arrived in the kitchen and said hey We're here to help so not only by invoking my kitchen angel did I get divine guidance I also had the help of earthly beings and with their help we were able to get the dinner out on time and, and I wouldn't have been able to do it without either the divine help of my kitchen angel or the help of the earthly helpers who really helped with the final stage of the meal. 
and I was so grateful and it made me realize that angels are real and the kitchen angel can be a great help in the kitchen and a wonderful ally and guide you to delicious feasts. To call upon your kitchen angel, you can simply stand in your kitchen and put out the call. But another way is to take yourself on an inner journey. I invite you to join me on this journey now to connect and call your kitchen angel. To do this, first allow your eyes to close. That's good. Now take a very deep and full breath. And as you exhale, you find yourself relaxing and going much, much deeper than you are. That's good. You might imagine that you're in a cosmic kitchen. Maybe it's a temple with a kitchen or maybe just a beautiful place in nature. Or maybe even imagine that you're in your kitchen. And as you are in this place that makes you feel so good, hold the thought, hold the prayer that your kitchen angel is coming. For indeed, in this moment, this moment truly, your kitchen angel is coming towards you. Imagine, sense, be aware of your kitchen angel. It might be a visual image. It might be just a feeling, maybe a warmth in your heart. It might be just a knowing. No matter what form your kitchen angel comes in, from this point forward, you have that guidance, that wisdom, and that love of that angel helping you with every aspect of your culinary adventures. You have my blessings and my love.